Young Master Satko, he's uh, his mother, I assume. Mother, right? Young Master Satko. Young Master Satko, he's climbed the tree in the backyard. It's a big one. It's a very large tree. And his mother has forbade him from climbing that tree. Oh, you smell good. And it got on me. <laughs> For the sun, I would have supposed. So now his mother has said, don't you climb that tree, I will spank you with a switch. And of course, like all little boys, he decides, because his friends are egging him on, that he's going to climb that tree, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, he begins thusly. He decides, I shall climb the tree. And here's how he starts. <laughs> to make certain his mother is not watching. So then, satisfied that his mother is not paying attention, he begins to climb the tree. Climb the tree with me. Here we go. We're climbing the tree. Slower, slower. We're not chimpanzees. We're climbing the tree. We're climbing the tree. And then we get toward the top. And you start to think, hmm, these branches are very small. These branches are very small. I think I'm as far as I can go. And your friends on the ground say, Oi! Get up there! You can go farther than that! Your mother's not even looking! And of course he goes some more. Okay. Uh, these branches are very thin, and right about that point, one of those thin branches breaks and he falls. Boop, 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 to the ground. And now he's got a broken arm because he's landed on his arm hard. And on top of that, the bone is protruding just a bit from the flesh. So now he is in a bad position for a young gentleman his age. He has disobeyed his mother, and he is hurt. Aww. So what's going to have to happen is your mother's going to uh, your mother's going to fuss at you. Number one, just go ahead. Let's just face that one. And secondly, what's going to happen is that uh, if the bone is protruding, is broken first of all. If the bone is protruding from the flesh, the rule is it must be amputated. It cannot set. They cannot be said. It must be amputated to save the patient. So, today we're going to cut your arm off. Here, so stick your arm out here. <laughs> Eight years old, he'll live the rest of his life like this. Now, what he doesn't know is, is that I'm going to make him keep it this way for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, you thought you were volunteering for something fun. Give this young man a round of applause, he was a champion. Well done. No, no, you have to keep it like that. Sorry, it's not my rule. It's just how it works.